Hello, I'm Ollie and this is Criminal Ollie, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today it's time to get trashy. Let's talk about Garb August. So if you don't know, Garb August is a reading event I run every August dedicated to reading trashy books. What do I mean by trashy books? I mean the kind of books that you wouldn't necessarily want to be seen reading on the bus. The kind of books that you wouldn't recommend to your book group um, as a book that you should all read together that will you know, make you grow as readers and people. Um, the kind of books that in the UK certainly you used to see in spinner racks in newsagents. In the US you might have seen them in, in drugstores. Um, you know, the kind of books that are mass produced by publishers to cash in on a particular trend or interest that they perceive out there in the reading public at the time um, to make a quick buck. But that doesn't mean that these books are bad. They are often, you know, fantastic. They often have, um, you know, very dedicated writers, uh, you know, applying their craft, writing these books, often to tight de- deadlines, um, but trying to make something that is genuinely entertaining for their readers. So just because, you know, many people look down on them and they're not the kind of books you would see reviewed in, uh, you know, the, like the New York Times or the Times Literary Supplement, it doesn't mean they're bad books. And the reason I started Garb August was to, to share my love of this kind of books with everybody out there and to get people to you know to try one and see that there is some really fun and entertaining reading there to be had and part of the reason for it is I think it can be very easy to get hung up on you know reading the next big you know literary craze reading reading things that everyone is saying are you know wonderful books that are shortlisted for the Booker Prize or whatever and those books you know are are often good books um but somehow for me they they when I read books like that, I sometimes feel like I'm losing my connection with my love of reading. And the things that got me into reading in the first place are these kind of quick, easy, trashy books that are just pure fun to read, that are there for entertainment rather than, you know, to try and make a point about the world. Um, and I think there can be real pleasure to be had in reading those kinds of books. So Garb August is an event, as I said, I run every August. What we also do, though, in uh, in February is like a mini Garb August. So we, we started that last year. Uh, we did the Wasted Weekend in February. We're going to do that again this year. So the idea of the Wasted Weekend is it's it's just one weekend. There's no weekly prompts. There's no bingo card or anything like that like we do for the full Garb August. The idea is we just encourage people to read one trashy book and just see how they feel about it, uh, to kind of dip their toe in the water and see if they want to take part in the full Garb August when that comes in the summer. Um, So we're doing that again this year and I'm really looking forward to it. We're going to do that on the 17th and 18th of February. So you can get Valentine's Day out of the way and then enjoy some trashiness um, the following weekend. So I've got some examples of some books that I think, you know, fit that kind of trash category, just to give you a taste. Um, So I've got Splinter of the Mind's Eye by Alan Dean Foster, so a book that was published to cash in on on the success of of Star Wars, so one of the first Star Wars books that that wasn't actually based on, on one of the Star Wars movies. Uh, I've got Relics by Sean Hudson, one of my favourite British horror writers. Very trashy, very over the top, lots of sex and violence, lots of fun. Um, I've got from the the kind of men's adventure style of book, um, Able Team, uh, which is this, Able Team book 21, Death Strike by Dick Stivers. Um, So these are, you know, the kind of literary equivalent of a a straight to video action movie. Very cheesy, but very, very fun. Um, I've also got a couple of Mills and Boone books, so a Mills and Boone double uh, from the kind of romantic suspense line. So this one has Rogue Christmas Operation and Canine Patrol. Um, So Category Romance is one of those things that I think loads of people look down on. You know, people don't think of Harlequin romances, Mills and Boone romances as being proper books in a way. And I think that's awful because I've I've really started getting into them since starting the BookTube channel. I've read a fair few and I've always had a really good time with them. They are written to a formula, but that doesn't mean they can't be good, entertaining books. And all the ones I've read so far, I've very much enjoyed. So a couple more here for me to get through soon. Um, And then some more 80s trash from the UK. Uh, So this is The Witch's Book 4, The Escape. A, a series of books that leans very heavily into the kind of sex and violence and that's something you often see with trashy books is they are exploitative they are um you know they're, they're kind of 
trying to be shocking, trying to attract the eye of the of the the you know the pers- prospective reader um, browsing the shelves of the bookstore um, by presenting something as as shocking as possible um, to suck you know to to suck the reader in and get them to buy the book. So trashy books often have the best covers. Now a lot of the books I've shown here are older books, and a lot of the trashy books I enjoy are older. What you tend to get with older trashy books is problematic content. So these books are, you know, often feature, you know, kind of period racism, homophobia, um, you know, sexism, things like that. Often have, uh, you know, the horror titles quite often have sexual violence in. So that may be something you want to avoid. What I wanted to say is there is a ton of wonderful stuff being published on Kindle at the moment, often by independent authors, um, that will allow you to to sample trashy books without some of that older problematic content. So do check out on Kindle and and nearer the time um, of the Wasted Weekend, I will do a video with some some suggestions of Kindle books people might want to, to check out. So there will be a load of stuff on Kindle Unlimited if you're a Kindle Unlimited subscriber that you can try for free that definitely falls into the trashy camp Um, and as I said at the start you know calling a book trashy is by no means saying it's a bad book it's more about the, the, the way that book is marketed and perceived by the general public so that's what's happening with The Wasted Weekend, 17th and 18th of, of February, as I said, and all you need to do to take part is to read a trashy book. I will definitely do some more videos between now and then with some suggestions. The other thing I wanted to talk about today is the Garbology. So you may remember that at the end of Garb August last year, so the end of Garb August 2023, um, I announced that I'm partnering with Troy Tradup, the owner um, of Tough Times Publishing, to publish an anthology of trashy short stories um, to coincide with Garb August 2024. So the submissions for that um, have now closed. They closed uh, at midnight last night. Nobody ever asked which midnight it was. uh, So it was up to you which midnight you chose. But submissions are now closed because I think I'm filming this after midnight everywhere in the world. Um, So yeah, closed at the end of 2023, we have had 58 stories submitted, which is phenomenal, far more than I expected. So Troy and I now have the task of going through and reading all of those stories. 58 is too many for for one collection. We can't, you know, we can't physically publish a book, I think, with with that many stories and it just just wouldn't work. So we will have to go through those stories um, and, you know, read them all and, and come up with our shortlist for what ends up in the final collection. If you have submitted a story, thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it. I'm very much looking forward to, to reading all of them. Um, and if this um, if this anthology is, is a success, well, then we may well do the same thing again um, next year. So if you're not fortunate enough to get one of your stories published this year, you can try again next year. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say a really huge thank you to everyone um, for submitting stories and also to Troy, who's been doing a lot of the work in the background um, to set things up um, so that this will be a success. So very much looking forward to it. Um, we'll provide further updates on that anthology as we go through the year. Um, we'll be, um, you know, we, we'll be looking for artwork and things like that for it soon as well. Um, if you are an artist who's interested, um, I'll link to the submission guidelines, which have got some details about the kind of things we're looking for art-wise. Um, but we will be making some more announcements about what we want uh, what we want for art soon um, but yeah that will be coming out in August uh, and again thank you thank you very much if you've if you submitted a story so let me know in the comments if you think you'll be taking part in the wasted weekend I hope as many people as possible do um, and as always thank you very much for watching I hope you're safe and well out there I hope you're reading good stuff and I'll speak to you again very soon cheerio